is everything you need to build your very own dragster. You need some popsicle sticks, some straws, and some shish kebab skewers. I love these. You can get these at the grocery store. Uh, let's see, some elastics. And of course, you want wheels. And I just cut my wheels out of cardboard. So here's a quick explanation of how to build your dragster. First, use anything round to trace three circles out on your piece of cardboard. Remember, you want two big and one small circle. Then cut out your wheels. Then it's time to make the frame of the dragster using popsicle sticks and elastics. Just put two popsicle sticks together, then wrap the elastic band around them to keep them together. First, you build one side, then the other side. Then add some pieces across the middle to give it support. Remember not to put any popsicle sticks too near the ends because they'll get in the way of your wheels. Next, cut the straws into small pieces and use an elastic band to tie them to the ends of the popsicle sticks. Then it's just a matter of sticking the shish kebab skewer in a wheel, passing it through the straws and sticking on the other wheel. Don't forget that the small wheel goes in the middle at the front. You can trim the skewers afterward by just breaking it off short. Now the last part is wrap some string around the back axle so you can pull and the wheels will spin. Let's check it out and see how it works. Didn't work that well, did it? That's because we haven't added the secret ingredient. Plasticine, the perfect secret ingredient for all of your dragster needs. And also sculpting, because that's what it's for. Remember how I said an object at rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tends to stay in motion? Well, the heavier something is, the more force you need to change its direction, either get it moving or make it stop. That is called inertia. It's the tendency for an object to resist the change in motion, either getting it going or making it stop. So the heavier we make the wheels of our dragster, the more they will resist a change in motion. So what I've done is I've stretched out my plasticine, and then you roll the wheels of the dragster around in the plasticine, and this will make each wheel way heavier than just the cardboard by itself and it will make it much better in terms of keeping the dragster going because if the wheel has more weight, it will have more inertia. Now, I have to wrap the string around the back axle just like that, and there we go. All right, let's try it out. All right, let's give it a shot and see how it works. Pull on the string, get the wheels going real fast, and there it goes. 